In this video, you'll learn how to use SMTP Server to send WordPress emails on your website. If you're having trouble sending or receiving emails from your WordPress site, then one solution that you can do is either to use something like Mailgun or SendGrid, SendInBlue, or even Google G Suite. But sometimes those require a, another service fee that you have to do. So with this video, I wanna show you how you can do it with the tools that you already have, and it'll keep the costs down. There's a couple of steps that we need to do. And the first one is we need to actually go ahead and create an email with your domain name. And basically we're gonna do this and we're gonna use something like Jane at start a WP site or whatever you want your email to be. You can do this by logging into your hosting account. I'm going to show you how to do this with Bluehost, but you can do this with pretty much any hosting account that you have. You should already have the ability to create an email account with your domain name. Okay, so I've logged into my Bluehost account and over on the left, you see email and office. We can click on that. Again, you're looking for accounts or email. You might have a cPanel. Just reach out to your hosting provider and ask them for information on where that is. And then we're going to manage it. From here, under manage, I'm going to create an email. Most hosting accounts allow several or unlimited email accounts that you can do with your domain name. And so here we need to create one. So I'm gonna create this and you see that this is the domain name that it will be attached to. You'll want to generate a password and you can also give it storage space. Since we're doing it for ourselves, we don't need to send an email with instructions. Great, once we have this, you'll also want to click on something like connected device or mail instruction setups or something like that where basically you scroll the way down and you'll see the client manual settings. We're looking for how to connect it. So we're looking for like incoming server, outgoing server, username and password, and things like that. So make sure that you find that as well. Now that we've set up the email, we need to head back over to our WordPress dashboard to get that set up on our site. So from the dashboard, we're gonna go down to plugins, add new because we're going to use a plugin that will handle the email username and password and all of the other stuff for us. So under keyword, we're going to search for WP Mail SMTP. This is the one we want and it's created by WP Forms. You likely are using the contact form plugin for your website. And if not, it's one of the best, easiest user-friendly plugins on the market. So we can either click settings here or you see a tab here where we can go to settings. So let's click on settings. And now we need to set it up. Under the from email, it probably already has the admin email in there. You'll want to add your newly created email that we just set up. And under from name, you wanna make sure that you put the from name that people will know that it's from you so that, that they can connect with. And you'll also want to make sure that set up the return path. And that means if anything bounces or is undeliverable that you'll get the information. Scrolling down under mailer, you need to choose the one that will work. And as you see, you can use any of these. Again, they have different service providers and there's sometimes a service fee attached to that. So what we're going to do for this one is set up other SMTP and scrolling down, this is the information that we needed to find on our hosting provider. So we need the SMTP host, go back to your host provider and we're looking for, and I need to highlight this and copy. I'll go back, right click and paste it. We want encryption. For encryption, we want TLS. We need to paste in the TLS port. We want to have authentication. So this is the username. That's usually the email address that we just created and the password that we did, right click and paste that. And you notice here, if you wanted to add a little bit more security, we could even add this bit in our config file to encrypt our password. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this. I'm gonna right click and copy, and I'm going to do this in a second. So we can click save settings. And now we can test it to make sure it goes out. So we can add an email address here to send an test email. I'm gonna click send email. Then you see the HTML email was successfully sent. You can check your email provider to verify. Once you verify that the email address came through, we wanna go back and 
encrypt the email information. So what we need to do is go back to general, scroll down, and we need to highlight this bit of code and we're going to copy it and then we're going to add it to our wpconfig.php file. If you have an FTP client, you can go there to do this for showing you how to do it real quick. I'm going to go to appearances, theme editor, and over on the right, we're looking for theme functions. Let's scroll all the way down and we'll go on a new line and we'll paste that in there. Make sure that you update your password with your actual password. And now when we go back to the SMTP settings area, scroll all the way down to SMTP password, you see that this is read only, and the only way that it can be changed is by going into that. And that's a simple way to send WordPress emails using the SMTP server on your hosting account. And thanks for watching.